Hey guys, this is going to be the Use It Up or Just to Use It series video number D8. 10. I believe it's 10. Um, so I have a Use It Up. I've got this really old sticker sheet that came in a kit that my mom got me when I was a little kid. And as much as I loved the kit because of all the reds and blacks and the flocked paper it, it kind of didn't suit me because it was really geared towards romantic -y wedding stuff so um these stickers are super old because I am never motivated to use them I think most of this most of what's gone I used in a like a memorial uh, photo book for a friend a few years ago so um, I'm gonna try and use you know get all these stickers up but it's gonna be hard because I don't know how to use a sticker like etc or B or ah us me like love kiss you know blah 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 so I don't know We'll probably try and do some uh, some backgrounds with some of the stuff. So, anyways, that's it, and I'll show you what I come up with. Hey, so I'm back with my finished cards. I just made cards this time because I didn't get started on this, or even had picked out the stickers until a week into my you know, two week period to get this done. Um, and with those stickers, I knew I'd probably end up just doing backgrounds with them. So here is my first one. Card base is from Bonnie. Um, this image right here, Lisa, who is Charlize's Crafty Corner sent me a bunch of stamped and um, printed out images, which I really appreciate because I'm a pretty lazy person and sometimes I just don't want to do that. So, um, you know, it was nice having something that I could just grab and, and color real quick. Um, so I just colored her up with Sharpies and uh, that I got from Bonnie and some colored pencils. Um, these background maps, I don't know if you can tell, they're pieces of random papers. Um, I don't have a ton of red scraps and I'm really trying hard not to cut into new paper if I can use up the scraps. So that's what I've been doing and that's why there's a little chunk of striped paper here and a piece of flock paper here and cardstock here because it just it you know it, that type of stuff doesn't bother me I think it gives it character um these are Gina Marie um enamel dots sparkly red and then the background these are those tab stickers um they were meant to, you know, fold over the top of a page to make a tab. And so I just cut off um, the little oval things that were on the bottom of each side of the tab, which I will show you what I did with those in a second, and stacked them up to make a background. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a stamp I got from Bonnie. I used some stickles, they're red stickles, which you probably can't tell, and I just created a banner with a little piece of white paper. And inside I just put that sticker from the sticker sheet. So here's what I did with the rest of the tabs, is I just made 
a geometric-esque background with them. This is an image that Lisa gave me. This is some bling that Christine gave me. A stamp from Bonnie. Card bases from Bonnie. I did... Um, the Martha Stewart doily punch for the bottom here. It's a piece of um, thin black cardstock. And... I put this little flower sticker here because it was the last one that I had. Here's the next card. Card bases from Bonnie. I did a couple different scraps of paper for the background map. These three stickers I backed up on white paper and then put on this piece of red cardstock. And this die cut is an eBay die. And she cut out beautifully. On the inside, um, I used the four photo corners that were left on that sticker sheet. And you will forever be my always, I believe, is a Gina Marie stamp. And here is the last card. Card bases from Bonnie. Um scrap of paper. This is a piece of embossed, dry embossed paper that I've had on my desk forever. It's like called snow flowers or something. Um, so for the stickers that I used off that sheet, these are label stickers that I just stacked to make a background and then I didn't have enough label stickers so I used the small flower stickers to do another row. Um, this Tilda image came from Lisa also, so thank you Lisa, and this is a die cut tag, thank you, probably came from Bonnie, and then I used a black rhinestone there. The inside I just put a strip of that paper apparently. So those are the cards, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to y'all later, bye.